Today's reading, especially the first one from St. Paul, gives us a chance to reflect on our spiritual poverty and things in our lives that blind us to that spiritual poverty that we have. So I'll start off with a little story. Uh, There was a man, a good Christian man. He dies, he goes to heaven, and as he approaches uh, the Golden Gates, he sees St. Peter there. Behind St. Peter's a sign. It says, you need 300 points to get into heaven. So the man thinks to himself, this is gonna be no sweat. I've lived a good life. So he goes up there, he introduces himself, St. Peter, and uh, St. Peter says, tell me about yourself. And he says, well, I was married, you know, I had this beautiful family, a, a good wife and a, a good marriage. I, had, I reared three kids and uh, we went to Sunday mass every Sunday and we prayed in the evenings and we even said grace before meals every time. And St. Peter says, that's impressive, that's really good, 15 points. And the man's going to shake, shook him back. And he says, well, I went to Catholic elementary school and Catholic schools all the way up through college. And Peter says, well, that, that's good too, five points. And uh, so the man's starting to sweat and uh, says, my gosh. And so he says, well, I, I, I really worked hard. I had a high ethic and uh, worked my whole life really hard and always tied 10% on everything I made. Peter says, whoa, that is very good, 15 points. And Peter was looking at him, could see that he was a bit distressed and uh, getting worried. And so Peter says, well, did, did Jesus ever forgive you anything or show you his mercy? And he said, yes, yes, yes. And so Jesus showed you his love during your lifetime. You recognized it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, 10,000 points. Come on in. And so the, the little story is to recognize that the man was blinded by his own efforts and didn't see the spiritual wealth that he had received from God. And uh, in our first reading from St. Paul's letter to the Philippians, St. Paul recognizes his blindness that he had in his life. So St. Paul was a uh, Israelite of the tribe of Benjamin, uh, a true son of Abraham, a Jew's Jew. Uh, His dad was a Pharisee, he was a Pharisee, he was really a bright kid, educated by the absolute best available. Even Gamaliel in Jerusalem was one of his teachers who was considered the, the greatest teacher ever for the Jewish uh, faith. And uh, he was in his zeal to live out all the precepts, the 613 laws of the uh, Jewish uh, uh, laws. He uh, excelled everybody, I mean, nobody, did as good a job as he did. And he was felt self-righteous. He even went to the point of trying to, to quash uh, these uh, uh, cults, the, the Christian cult, because he wanted to hurry up the coming of the Messiah, and he didn't want that to slow down the coming of the Messiah. And then we reflect on all of his past life there, he says, it was worthless. Nothing compared to knowing Jesus and the salvation that Jesus brings. And that same blindness can happen to us. We can think that because of the the many gifts and talents that we have and uh, the many good things that we've done that we're gonna be a shoe in. It's gonna be great. And we're actually blind to actually the goodness, the salvation, the mercy that God has shown us. And so today we ought to reflect maybe a little bit on our, this, uh, our, our, uh, spiritual poverty and thank God for the incredible mercy that he's shown us and thank him for the salvation that's given us and for his search for us where he looks for us like that crazy shepherd that went and left 99 very vulnerable sheep to go find the one that was lost or the crazy zany woman who just tears her house apart to find one little lost coin that's how God the zeal that God has to search out for us so that he can bring us his mercy and his salvation. Amen.